right? So there's been a lot of, of, of articles and time spent about how you can take advantage of all this data and all this data out there can create great opportunities for you. But a lot of times in these conversations and pieces, what's missed is once you've identified those opportunities, how do you actually bring them to fruition? A lot of it is rolling up your sleeves and doing just real uh, grunt work to, to go after the opportunities. And so let me describe a few ways that that takes its a, a natural form with sales. At the highest level, sometimes for B2B companies, it's a real aha moment to realize just on sheer numbers that their sales force is misallocated towards growth. In other words, they are really um, not, not covering flat out just not covering the growth, the biggest growth opportunities or a sizable micro market. Um, and so one at, at one level, it's simply about numbers, how you allocate the right numbers of people. But there are multiple levels of nuance that go beyond that too. And we've seen, um, I've seen a company that said, you know, there are certain kinds of sales people or certain um, sales descri job descriptions that we want for different micro markets. A market where you have very low penetration and market share uh, and that's uh, pretty highly competitive, uh, you know, might need a much more aggressive hunter, uh, while someone else might need, uh, another market might need somebody who is much more oriented to really farming and cross-selling and, uh, and deep relationship building in an installed base.